The following program is a special presentation of District 8 Fellowship of Christian Athletes, the heart and soul in West Ohio sports. I'm Laura Wilker from St. Mary's. I will forever remember the chills that ran through my body as I joined hands with 400 plus high school students under the lights of Harmon Field at my final Fields of Faith. I couldn't help but be overjoyed thinking of all the great people I had met and things I had learned through my years as a member of FCA. As a transfer student from a school where we discuss God openly on a daily basis, I was under the impression that I would have to go through a big change once I reached high school because no one spoke openly about their faith. Attending my first FCA meeting, I was shocked to see how many other students were passionate about their faith and for the first time, truly felt at home at my new school. For me, FCA has been more than weekly meetings. It has been a group of people that I can trust with my struggles, who I know want to work to change the hearts of the student body. Sitting and listening to my peers pour out their love for the Lord gave me the courage to do the same. I began being more open about my faith and would defend my beliefs when challenged by other students. Because of FCA, I brought God into my athletics. I prayed with my team before every race turned to God in moments of physical weakness and glorified Him for every victory He helped me achieve. In all the ways FCA has impacted my life, the greatest would have to be through leadership. FCA is where I first learned to be a leader. My sophomore year, I mustered up the courage to give my first FCA lesson, which not only gave me the ability to help others in their walk with Christ, but forced me to put my own beliefs into words, thus challenging me to think deeper about my faith and why it was important to me. I'm Travis Meyer from Anna High School. When my football coach announced that we were going to do FCA every week as an optional event, I was very excited to attend and get closer with my teammates. Being able to talk about my relationship with God with my teammates is the best part of FCA. This brought us closer together as brothers, and I was very impressed with the number of players that came after practice for FCA since it was optional. Next year, I'm going to attend the University of Dayton. As a freshman, I will be living in a dorm with my cousin. We have agreed to be accountable for each other to make sure we stay active in the church. The statistics are very sad as to how many college students drift away from the church after high school, and we do not want to become a part of that statistic. After I graduate from college, I would love to become a high school coach. I love the relationships that come out of sports between players and coaches. Coaches have a major influence on players lives and I would love to be a part of that. Of course, if I were a coach, I would be sure to have an SCA at whatever school I am coaching for. But then again, God loves to laugh at our plans and make new ones. So we, have, we will have to see what God's plans are for my future. I'm Celeste Cook from New Bremen. It took me a while to realize that failure was not the end. It was not until my sophomore year in track that I was able to start seeing my failures in pole vaulting as an opportunity to grow. At 16, my, level, my confidence level was absent, but through my practices and meets, I was able to be fearless. Even though I was becoming more successful in my sport, I still felt like I was failing. I was not achieving the heights that I wanted. Still, by treating the end of the season as an opportunity to grow, I ended up on my way back to state. I was able to place eighth that year at state, getting on the podium. Junior year was different. I walked into state knowing that I could possibly place second, but I walked out 13th with two sprained ankles and a stress fracture in my tibia. That was the hardest failure I had to overcome. I realized the only thing I control in life is how I react to it. Yes, that day my reaction might not have been the best. I was a typical 17-year-old frustrated with the outcome, but I can't control how I react to that. It took me a little bit to step back and realize I cannot change how I did that day. It was the past. Since then, I have told myself to turn this around and use it for the better. As it says in Psalms 46, 5, it says, God is within her and she will not fall. Fellowship of Christian Athletes has not only brought me closer in my sport, but allowed me the ability to express my faith with my teammates. Pole vault is my sport, but that is not what defines me. My faith is what defines me. I will attend Indiana Wesleyan University, where I will get to continue my walk with faith and continuously help people and regain their health and lead them towards God. My name is Rebecca Fast and I am from Van Wert. Being an active member and officer of my FCA huddle has provided great encouragement to me as my fellow athletes gather before school to listen to special speakers and pray together. Our weekly meetings help motivate me and strengthen me to share my faith with other students and exhibit a lifestyle that honors Christ. Often Christianity is attacked by society, but our FCA huddle allows us to gather at school and be a light to those around us. 
In John 12, 46, Jesus said, I have come as a light into the world, that whoever believes in me should not abide in darkness. People can hear your words, but a person is often respected more by how they act and treat others each day. As sinners, we fail frequently, but my family has always encouraged me to learn from my failures and utilize the lessons learned to make me stronger and more grounded in my faith and testimony. My desire and dream is to be able to work for a mission organization and help develop mission trips to places that are in need of hearing the gospel and encourage missionaries on the mission field. My prayer is to live a life that reflects the love of Christ. Psalm 1914 says, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Hi, I'm Alexis Price and I'm from Columbus Grove High School. FCA, in my opinion, is the best way to begin a Wednesday. I believe that when you begin a day with Christ, the day is bound to be fruitful. I look forward to hearing a message and being molded by other Christians. I love learning more about Christ Jesus' attributes and how they still apply to me today. FCA has shown me true love and compassion in the roughest of seasons, and I know I can attend the meetings and willfully learn amongst my school peers. I recently had the opportunity to deliver a message at an FCA meeting, and it has really challenged me. I, along with three of my closest friends, gave the message on the topic of conquering comfortableness. Since then, I am more conscious of my presence to others, and I strive to step out of my comfort zone in order to show His love everywhere and to everyone. Without FCA, I would not have had the opportunity to grow in my faith and share with others. I plan to earn a degree in social work at Malone University. One of the main reasons I chose to attend Malone is because of its Christ-centered curriculum. I am ecstatic to learn about social work and psychology through a Christian lens and apply it to Christ's love. Being a social worker would allow me to make deeper connections with vulnerable individuals who need love, support, care, and aid. I would be able to act as a vessel and share his characteristics through my actions and words. My name is Clayton Egler and I am from Parkway High School. FCA has had a huge impact on my life. FCA has enabled me to grow in my faith through leadership and public speaking roles. I was an FCA leader during my junior and senior years of high school. This leadership role gave me the opportunity to further impact my peers by learning how to be a leader on and off the field for Christ. Also, FCA has enabled me to grow in my faith and ability to share Jesus with others. I have led small group discussions with my FCA group as well as with personal friends outside of FCA. I was also blessed to have the opportunity to share at Fields of Faith this fall. The experiences that I've had through FCA are some of the biggest reasons that I've grown in, in my faith as much as I have. I am pursuing a biology degree followed by a doctorate in medicine. I plan to be a doctor when I graduate from college and I believe this gives me an enormous platform to impact others for Christ. As a doctor, I will be constantly in contact with others who may or may not know Jesus. I will have an opportunity to lead others to Christ daily while treating their ailments. With the many controversies surrounding the medical field, Having strong Christian leaders will be paramount to putting an end to medical injustices such as abortion and stem cell research. My name is Ali Slosser and I am from St. Mary's. My faith has always played a large role in all aspects of my life, especially in sports. During all four years of high school, I have been an avid participant and leader in our school's Fellowship of Christian Athletes program. Through this, I have gained the confidence needed to be able to speak openly about my faith to others and lead them in their journey of faith as well. FCA has showed me that my mission in this world is to help others grow in their faith too. I have developed a compassion for helping and inspiring people through my love for God. My ideal goal in life is to help as many people as I can improve their relationship with the Lord. After two ACL tears and six months of physical therapy following each surgery, I have decided to pursue a degree in physical therapy at the University of Finley. I want to be able to help injured athletes regain the faith and confidence needed to move on with their athletic career. My two biggest motivations while dealing with such serious injuries were my physical therapist and the Lord. While going through the pain, I need something to look forward to and comfort me. I found that in my relationship with God. Simultaneously, my physical therapist helped me physically recover and constantly reminded me of God's presence in my trials. It brought me much comfort knowing that the Lord was watching over me and helping me through all the pain. Hi, I'm Hannah Carlson from Parkway High School. 
I've been blessed to have so many opportunities to bring the gospel internationally on different mission trips. Almost as soon as I started my relationship with the Lord, He's really softened my heart towards those who don't know Him yet. I also helped start the Parkway FCA huddle my sophomore year. It was such a cool experience and I am so glad to have been a part of it. FCA has also made a huge impact in my life because of leadership camp last July. It was all about how to be a better leader, being bold in your faith, and really connecting spiritually with your teammates. The atmosphere there was awesome and I'm glad I got the chance to meet so many new people there as well. I actively and intentionally try to be a light in my school every day. Actions definitely speak louder than words, so I try to encourage others at school, smile always in the hallways, and be the hands and feet of Jesus, even in the little things. All in all, FCA has really pushed me outside of my comfort zone in my, when it comes to my faith. My name is Allison Bowser, and I am from Spencerville. FCA has made a wonderful impact in my relationship with Christ. Many times at school, I can become overwhelmed by the world and things of the world. I can easily get caught up in school and let the littlest of things bother me. FCA has always been a wonderful time during my day that refreshes my soul. It allows me to take a step back, refocus my thoughts on the Lord. It reminds me that I am a light in the dark world and helps spark my flame again. It has allowed me to learn to be bold in Christ, standing up for what I believe in. During basketball season, I had the opportunity two or three times to pray with my team before the game. We also participated in a combined prayer with the New Bremen girls basketball team, and this has led to numerous conversations with a few of my classmates. I plan to use my degree in elementary education to continue to be a light in the schools. I hope to be an advisor for Fellowship of Christian Athletes or even be a junior high girls basketball coach in the school that I will teach at. I want to continue to impact, help shape, and mold the next generations into young godly men and women. No matter where I am, it can be and will be a mission field for Christ. I'm Ellie Miller from Kenton. My junior year, I struggled with some close friendships. I felt like I always gave of myself to serve my friends and it wasn't reciprocated. My teammates encouraged me to stand up for myself. Instead of being a Christian example to them, I let them influence me to lash out in anger at my friends. At the time, I didn't really understand what I was doing was wrong. I just knew it felt good to let my anger out. The summer after my junior year, God really revealed himself to me during church camp. During the Tuesday sermon, I felt the push to go up to the altar and God began to show me that I had been giving my life to my friends, basketball, and anything that would please me. At that point, I completely surrendered my life, my hopes, and my dreams to him. When I left camp, I went and I asked for forgiveness from those friends that I had hurt. During my senior basketball season, I was honored when my team asked me to pray before each game. I feel as if God used me to show them that you don't have to pray perfectly. I am continuing my basketball career at Ohio Northern, where I am planning on majoring in middle childhood education. I love children and it breaks my heart to see where they come from. All I want to do is love on them and show them the love of Jesus. I'm Jessie LaFontaine from Liberty Benton. As a freshman at a new school, I was excited to join an organization that pertained to my passions of faith and soccer. But my freshman year, I was placed on the JV soccer team and that affected my confidence. I became preoccupied with impressing my coach and worried about making mistakes and letting my team down. I knew that I could do better, but I could not show it on the field. My sophomore season came and went in a similar fashion. I made the determination to change my situation. I joined track for the first time and began running four to six miles per day. But when the fall came, I was sick during fitness week. I had worked so hard, but the test would not show it. I would be overlooked for yet another season. However, at my last scrimmage, an assistant coach asked the head coach to give me a chance. I knew that all the months that I had spent training would be defined in this contest. At halftime, the head coach came up to me and said, you are surprising the bananas out of me, Jesse. I asked, in a good way? And he responded, in a very good way. I was a defensive starter every game after that, my junior and season, senior seasons. As a captain this year, I set two goals, for our team to reach its potential and to encourage my teammates who face the same doubts I had battled. I would pray for and with my team each game and worked to be a leader on and off the field. We started five freshmen and three sophomores and I shared my story often and continued to encourage them. We had 15 shutouts, doubling the previous school record and made it to state for the first time ever. Actions and attitudes speak much louder than words. The continuous effort to be a positive presence is the greatest difference I can make in my school and my community. I'm Jordan Crates from Elida. 
Being a Christian is an important aspect within my life, but I've never written down the reason for becoming a God-loving person. When I think of my story, I always tell people that I just decided to become a Christian because I wanted to, but it's much more than that. Having the opportunity to write down and share my testimony is a big step for me. I'm happy to spread my love for my faith through my story. During my sophomore year of high school, I was having the time of my life until something life-changing happened out of the blue. My family had received the news that my mom had cancer. This treatment was something new that we had never heard of. My mom had to swallow radioactive pills to help the possible remaining cancer cells. My entire family could not touch or be anywhere near my mom for three weeks while she isolated herself in her bedroom. During this whole ordeal, I started to turn toward God more than I had become because I wanted guidance on how to make it through this tough time. I began to pray more and I get, began to put all of my faith and wonder into God's hands. And then, this past fall, I endured more painful circumstances that allowed my depression to kick in. I lost my faith for about three weeks and I was diagnosed with severe depression and anxiety during this time. I didn't want to trust in God anymore because I felt that He had betrayed my family and I. I didn't want to put my trust into Him. I was pulled into the darkest place within myself and I never thought I'd be able to escape it. But then something happened. I had gotten a call from God Himself. On one of my roughest days, I received a text saying I was nominated for SCA Leader of the Year. In my mind, that was God Himself telling me a sign to pull myself together and be the person I was before. Even though things were a mess, I knew that this was what I was put on earth for. I meant to lead and I meant to be a happy person. I immediately restored my faith and began praying again. Praying for better days, praying for my health, praying for my friends, and praying for myself. I thank God every day for the battles He has helped me fight and the opportunities He has given me.